This is John Buckner with Farm Journal Media. I'm here with Roy Cox from uh, near the area of Oscar, Oklahoma. He's a cattleman and he just happens to train uh, some dogs here to work cattle and I'm not even sure what types of dogs they are so I'm going to turn it over to Roy. What got you in the business and uh, what, do you, what type of dog are you training? Okay, John. This dog here and this dog here, Border Collie dogs. This dog here is a Kelpie dog. What got us in the in the business was the necessity. Run cattle and needed a way to handle them more effectively. You talked a little bit about your, your signals in, in taking a dog at a certain age. Can you just kind of run me through the scenario? If I wanted to buy a dog, uh, what would I look for? What year do I start working him? And uh, the best way to, to start training? Well. John, you, you start training them as soon as you get them. Socializing him, hauling him around, getting him used to things you want him used to. Lots of stimulus in the world and he needs to learn how to handle all of them. On stock, if, if you want to start him early, you can start him on sheep or goats and start him six months on up. I like to wait until he's about a year old and start him on cattle. And uh, so I've got a dog now here who's, uh, I've started some kind of training. Uh, you made a comment about uh, working yearlings or, or cows. Uh, how do you want to start these dogs out? I, I like to start them on, out on something that is educated by a dog, that's not real rough or, or wild. The quieter the better. And then as he gets more efficient and more confident in his work, we, we'll build it up to finally cows and calves. Okay. The thing that I found interesting was the watching your demonstration was the the work between the, these uh, yearlings and the dogs themselves. Can you tell me a little bit about those interactions? Lots of communication going on. It's it's all it comes down to really is the predator prey relationship and uh, the way them two communicate together. Your, how many commands do you have? Four or five? Uh, you can you can have lots of commands. Basically, you have one for each direction. You have a stop, and of course, a call off, which makes him come back to you. But you can put a lot more commands on. But if you want to keep it basic, five or six, yes. Okay. And when you see this uh, dog start to work, and you've got a in this case a yearling turned around and the, the dog instantly reacts. Uh, talk a little bit more about the, that reaction. John, I want a dog that's pretty aggressive, but he's got to learn to control himself. Uh, I like a dog with, with a, a good strong bite, but he can't molest cattle. So, so as soon as that confrontation hits and that dog bites him, I want that dog to back off and give that cow, yearling, anything, time to turn around and move away from it then. Okay. I was amazed at how uh, quickly they handled these cattle. And for any cattleman out there watching this, what would you say, uh, not necessarily to sell a dog, but what would you tell them about the use of dogs in their operation? The use of dogs are going to save you a lot of trouble. You can, you can handle your cattle by yourself whenever you need to. You don't need any help. When looking for a dog, look for a good strong dog that can control cattle. Um, there's lots of quality dogs out there. Not all of them handle cattle the way their cattle need to be handled. So go to someone that sells specifically cattle dogs. Cattle working dogs. It could be Border Collies, it could be Kelpies, it could be Blue Healers, it could be Australian Shepherds or Hanging Tree Cow Dogs. But make sure them dogs are the quality that's going to do your job. And for a family that has children, um, these probably don't make great family great pets. pets, are they? No, fa fantastic family pets. Okay. It's just the way you, you raise them up. Okay. Yep. Well, that's great. I'm here with... Uh, Roy Cox today at the uh, Linnaeus Forage Field Day up here in Linnaeus, Missouri, and um, we've had a lot of fun here today. This is John Buckner with Farm Journal Media. Thank you.